Majority Leader of the New York State Senate Dean Skelos and his son were arrested today on extortion, fraud and bribe charges. WNY's Isabel Garcia joins us live with more information on the arrest and what this means for state politics. Isabel? Aisha, this isn't the first time New Yorkers are hearing about a political scandal in the Capitol. I spoke with WENY political analyst Dr. Jim Twombly on how the changes on how this changes the political landscape for New York. Cuomo, Silver, and Skelos, the three men in the room for New York politics. Now two of them are facing federal corruption charges. State Senate leader Dean Skelos being the latest. I think you see this in a number of states. When people have been around for too long, or uh, practices in politics get too staid and too stale, uh, people get comfortable uh, doing things that are questionable and the next thing you know their behavior goes over the edge into not just questionable but totally inappropriate or illegal. Skelos surrendered Monday on claims that he used the power of his office to make deals to financially benefit his son Adam. Skelos allegedly awarded a $12 million stormwater contract on Long Island influencing Nassau County's decision to award the 2013 contract to Arizona-based Abtech, a company that hired Adam Skelos as a consultant. Adam has also been charged in this case, leaving both father and son to face a detailed six-count criminal complaint, including extortion and soliciting bribes. Ultimately, Dr. Twombly believes the political climate in New York State can be changed for the better with appropriate influence. Really, the only way to resolve the state of affairs in Albany um, is for voters to get educated. I mean, it ultimately resides with us, the people. Um, the, uh, the individuals who have the ability to throw people out of office, um, it's up to us. We get lazy as voters, and we don't pay attention. It is unclear at this point if Dean Skelos will resign from his post like Sheldon Silver. He is claiming to be innocent of all federal corruption charges. In the studio, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.